So this is just, just pure audience response system. And I really want to uh, open this up. We'll go over a question. We can discuss it. And if we have questions, uh, uh, please, you know, go to the microphone and we can discuss them as, as, as we go. Case two, a uh, 73-year-old male undergoes a colonoscopy with uh, endoscopic ultrasound for the evaluation of a, uh, a subepithelial lesion uh, that was seen during a screening colonoscopy. Uh, uh, state past medical history is as noted. Patient's totally asymptomatic. Here is the uh, lesion seen on uh, at the endoscopic view, and here's the lesion seen on EUS. This uh, EUS, uh, the, the EUS characteristics of the lesion suggest one of the following. Number one, it is extrinsic compression stemming from a splenule. Number two, it's a, or B, a colonic duplication cyst, C, a colonic gist, or D, malignant lymphadenopathy. Case three, a 53-year-old male undergoes endoscopic ultrasound for a CT imaging abnormality, has a history of early satiety, mid-epigastric pain, and a 15-pound weight loss. There's a history of alcohol use in the past, uh, uh, the liver uh, profile amylase and lipase are normal. And this is the lesion here. Um, this is the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct, splenic artery, splenic vein. So this is a picture of the pancreatic body. What is true regarding this lesion? A fine needle aspiration would yield a positive mucin stain. There is evidence of advanced chronic pancreatitis. Fine needle aspiration would yield malignant ductal epithelial cells. Fine needle aspiration would yield fluid with an amylase level of 50,000 units per liter. Oh, we're all over the place. Okay. Uh, 